Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Simon. Thank you for joining me today. Well, the title of this video is going to be configuring and using SnapBridge, the Nikon utility to remote control uh, many of the modern Nikon cameras via a mobile phone. Uh, there's going to be a, a two separate videos. One's going to be with Apple iOS and the other one's going to be uh, an Android one. Snapbridge has had a really interesting press. If you read all sorts of uh, articles, look on YouTube videos, people will tell you it doesn't work, it's hard to configure. And today I'm going to prove that's not true. It's really easy to configure via Bluetooth. It allows you to do remote photography and use your phone uh, as a remote controller uh, for the camera. Uh, and also it allows you to download images back to your phone, either at 2 meg format or indeed the original size format. You can get them onto your phone then, you can use an editing tool and maybe post them to Facebook and Instagram really, really easily. I use it all the time. Later on in the video, uh, you're going to see screen captures of both the phone and indeed the camera. For the phone, uh, it's really easy. You just use either the Apple or the Android screen capture utilities. Uh, for the camera, I've used this little mirror box. It's about £80 on Amazon, a HDMI capture box. You plug the HDMI port uh, of the camera into that box, uh, USB from that box into your laptop. You run a piece of software and it just captures it and produces the file really, really easily. If you find this video useful, it would be great if you could subscribe, smash the like button, but leave some comments as well. Ask some questions or just some general comments, and I will try and get back to you and answer the questions best I can. But if you ask some questions or give me themes for new videos, I can make those and it just helps support the community uh, and it helps me grow my channel and gives it some purpose. So here we go, how to configure your mobile phone to control SnapBridge. Hi, I hope you found that video useful and you've managed to configure your phone to work with SnapBridge. It's really quite straightforward and with the version 2 of the software, uh, later versions of 2 anyway, it's certainly very reliable and I use it all the time. If you have found this video useful, subscribe, smash the like button, ask some comments and questions as well. It's really useful to me to know what comments and questions that you have. It helps me make new videos and maybe I can answer some of them and provide some information back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.